Hi, I'm Amy Kitchener, and I'm the Curator and Executive Director for the Actavando Contra COVID project in the San Joaquin Valley, a commissioning of performances and a recording project. I knew that it was really important in this project to reach some of the hardest hit communities in COVID. And so I thought that it would be very important that the culture bearers and artists who are part of this community can share information in ways that can spark conversations and make people think. We worked with multiple recognized artists on this project. I mean, I immediately thought of Carmen Cristina Moreno. Her repertoire is really broad in range and reflects her Chicano and bilingual, bicultural identity. Los Originarios del Plan, they're a four-piece band and they're up in Merced County. And so they said, well, we would like to use the form of a valona. It's like a form of lyric poetry. It's often used satirically, but it's a genre of music that's particular to the Tierra Caliente. We thought about another really big community here in the San Joaquin Valley are the Mistec community. So the group that we worked with is called the Grupo Recreación Musical from Bakersfield. That's led by Pedro Cruz. They sing in Spanish and also in Misteco, which I think is a really special feature. <laughs> and Juan Felipe Herrera and his group of former students that named themselves La Familia Feliz. Hello there, I'm Juan Felipe Herrera. I've been the former poet laureate of the United States and also of California. I started doing this project, uh, Vacunate Prudencio, as a poem, but as I put down the first few lines, I just naturally just flowed into a radio theater piece. And we're gonna look at the family uh, having this crisis of part of the family wants to be vaccinated and the other part doesn't. And we have to have a powerful witch in here because what would it be without a witch? Vine a casa y no te rías. Es buena para protegerte de la virus. And we want people to laugh and we want them to kind of really reflect at the same time. We want the community to survive. That's the core, and we want to give our communities whatever we can. Another very important partner on this is Radio Bilingue, which is the national Latino public radio network for the country. They very generously agreed to broadcast all of these radio recordings. We know many, many thousands are also listening to it, so we're all sitting down together, listening to the same program. And that's a feeling of collective solidarity, and that's what we need at this time. In all of the songs and the music, there is love, but there's also a seriousness of doing this together, of reducing these harms together as a community. Taking these measures now to protect yourself, to get vaccinated, to wear a mask, these are for your family. This is the most beautiful project ever. Listen to the music, listen to the poems, get the information, take the vaccine, and you're gonna feel happiness.